What's going on guys? Your boy Super Boo Zeus J. Welcome back to another Harry Potter side quest. Um Howard Legacy. Um so we are left off. This is part two of the quest. Uh, I'ma continue. I don't know. Oh wait, hold on, I can't talk. <laughs> I forgot. You you good? She excited about something. I don't know. So we're gonna continue. Um First of all, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. And also, like I said, guys, have your notification on. I appreciate you. I also have a... What the... F Bro, why every time I'm playing some weird sh going on? We're going to get out of here. Also, have your notification on, guys, like I said. And... Um, check out the playlist that I put of this game, Harry Potter Hogwarts. And other game as well. Also, I'll be um, not. I, I, I'm gonna do it next week. There's gonna be a new game next week uh, that I'm gonna be posting and story mode or whatnot. But at the moment, I'm gonna continue with these type of games, guys. Hopefully, you are enjoying it. And if you are enjoying it, at the end of the video, guys, get give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you. Anyway, let's get to it to the other mission. All right, now we're in the quest of Sebastian. You'll never believe what I've learned. What'd you learn? What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the Scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I, I see no reason more. to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Okie dokie. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Talk ominous. To we're here. We were just about to get some air. Well, how are you getting to join? Why are you get, You're a liar, you Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting I that. To to him, I'd never swear to give Damn. up finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave yeah, this alone. Yeah, I'm talking a lot, bro. I'll be on my way. What the hell was that? What the? Can I talk to him now? I am not letting this go. Ominous. Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please okay. avoid anything to do with that spell book. Spells can... Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Okay. For, your, <clears throat> for everybody that is new, uh, just letting you know I have a playlist. Like I said, this side quest, I'm only going to do three people for the side quest. I'm going to end the game after that, guys. It's going to be Natty. Nat Natai, whatever her name is, Poppy, and Sebastian, the one I'm doing now. So, um, yeah. Right, he's gonna look back. He's gonna look back. Oh, right, yeah. I'm locked up! <laughs> Is 
that Sebastian? Yeah, what are you doing out here, bro? All right, um, off to the next one. Worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, okay. I must find it. I'm requesting your help. That's that's that. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. What kind I suggest of name? that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I okay. could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Harlow. <laughs> Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Bro. Hopefully by the I'm, time I'm... you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Man, I'm over here doing people's... I'm like the police of Hogwarts. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, Isco. Right, what have I done? You good? Mrs. Rabe. I wonder if Mrs. I might Rabe. speak with oh, you about my, Theophilus Harlow. Name, bro. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Yeah, Knowing the that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Okay. We do hope you find considering okay. some evidence worth hanging on to. Tell me you didn't take it. But Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is... All right, my boy, you are talking way too Thank much, Thank you bro. for telling me. I'm Tra gather trying to complete the task. This dude talking about his whole... Now, bro, I don't got time. Sorry, guys, if I skip it. Where was I? It's a little bit boring, her missions. I like Poppy's mission because it's like with Dragon. Where am I going? <laughs> Cause uh, you know I like I like excitement you know I like I like missions that has to do with you know with trolls, dinosaurs, mm. Phil, but must dragons, be whatever somewhere. it is. Not it just is chatting about bull crap. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. 
I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I... Okay, that's enough. <laughs> if you had spoken... Guys, I'm skipping it, because, like I said... So... Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to All find right. Natty. Alright, there you go. Like, the main character, I'm not gonna skip it. It's not it, like right. Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Sure for Natty. Oh her my there. gosh. Now I gotta go back. Nah, we gotta, now we gotta find this girl, because she got lost in the abyss. So yeah, guys. Just try to do the main Natty story. That's what I'm trying way. to do. I need to find her quickly. Find Natty. Found us. I knew it. I need yeah. your help. Who's this? That, you are not Natty, bro. What the f Akio. Oh. Mm. Yo. It's Mr. Natty. Rain. Daisy told me you'd been abducted. Oh, that. She spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. <laughs> These names, bro. I'm Thank you for telling you. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. Oh, oh my it. god. Why am I character doing Matthew. this? Boy, if you don't start doing the same movement, it hand, must be blocked by something. Stupid ass monster. <laughs> I got your wand. What's up, Mr. Rabe? I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. What's that noise, bro? All right. Wait for Mr. Rabe to. Okay. There you go. You not gonna say nothing? Damn. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. Mm. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. Revelio. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. Okay. But be careful. Thank right. you, my young friend. Bruh. That's the power I need. These ash winders must pay. These ass wipers got it. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer. Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, they've also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Oh, Do you have enough officer. evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. So she was off, though. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. <laughs> Thank Jeez. you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Okay. All right, so we completed that. And we're You're back here. with Sebastian. Good. What's up? Sebastian, that relic you mentioned? I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. 
I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. Mm -hmm. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Okay. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul spell deep. is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Copy. Right, here we go. Great, guys. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, I'm gonna wait for the barricade. on either side of this archway. Hmm. In this case, no bone. Then how you how am I supposed to? Rebellion. Oh, I see it's something in the ground. If this archway is barricaded, we can find a way through. Incendio. I'll be right back. All right, so I found out. I believe you got to put these skeletons over here and complete it. Let's try that. There you go. I complete it. Whoa. Can I... Now what? <laughs> Can I break? Oh. No! I'll be back. I felt it in my bones. Finally, guy, after two nice. hours later. <laughs> Just to discover the damn puzzle. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. More. No the student's puzzles. diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know yeah. the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. Right, it's not an easy okay. spell to master. Oh, number four, okay. Fantastic four. Go. Finally, something troubling something. ahead. Be on your guard. All right. So I learned something new. It's this one. Boom. Right. Oh, never mind. Doesn't let me. I learned something new. He's teaching me. What the? Look. Could it be? Yeah. The note Found and it. rendition of the relic. It matches. After hours this later, this must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. Yeah, let's take. This Come is on. meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. Right. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. 
Okay, got it. Now we gotta get out of here. Wait, there's somebody over there. Oh my god, there's always somebody waiting. Is that ominous? Where's your ominous. punk ass want, bro? The sounds we kept hearing. It Lee was, was alone. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. Bro, you I'm gonna sorry, catch this ominous, one. But I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine. But Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe We're this. We're gonna fight him? Bro, chill. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Um, no, nah, no, nah, buddy. I Sebastian's can't Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperio? That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio! <laughs> It looked like I was <laughs> dancing. <laughs> what am I Step doing? Aside, Getting crunks? <laughs> Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Okay. We turn him to the Sebastian, lantern. <laughs> come on. What did you do? Imperio. It was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Mm -hmm. Ominous. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sebastian, we have to go. <laughs> yep. I did the, I don't know what was that, the Dougie, the, the, I don't know what kind of dance that I just did to him. <laughs> nice, right, something happened over there. It's my Felt fire. in trouble. They're under attack. Oh, That's no right. snaps. Oh, who's burning the house? Bro. Oh, y'all little queers. <laughs> And his sister. These little queers, bro. They're evil little goblin things. Oh. Sister. With an unforgivable curse. Exactly. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Hey, he's just trying to help his sister, bro. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Yeah, you did, the you right did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Yeah. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. 
No, you go, you go do that. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna take care of your dad. Um, I'm gonna take care of him right now. Yeah, he I, he walked away. I'm gonna beat his ass. Huh? Right, pause on that, but I'm on. Bro, you're gonna catch these hands. Come over here, bro. You think I'm playing with your punk ass? Nah, let me stop. <laughs> Let's see what, what he was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Salo. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. save his sister. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have mm -hmm. killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Shut your ass up, bro. Come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named. You don't even reason. care about your. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Oh, yeah, really? Two. Yeah, go Why, ahead. You go be a snitch. You. You're going to see what will happen to your bitch ass. Let me stop. All right, we completed that. You are the talk of Sorry the for the noise in the background. <laughs> if you can hear it. We have come so far. All right, we're going to go to her next. next since... All right, guys. I was about to do uh, Nati, Natai um, quest, but I'm going to continue with Sebastian. With my uncle? I wish I had better Real news about before. your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when all I right. have news. Wait, I can still talk to him? Um, did I complete his quest or what? <laughs> well, let me talk to him. I wondered if you might teach me how to cast that curse you mentioned. Oh, which one? Oh, yeah, the crucial. I'd like to learn how to cast oh, yes. the Oh, yes, teach me. Look at him. Well, to now remember, your intention matters. And be precise with your wand movement. The incantation is Crucio. Are there any other curses you'd like to learn? Uh, I've learned all I wanted to I'd like to learn how to cast the Cruciatus Curse. Very well. Now remember, your intention matters. And be precise with your wand movement. The incantation is... Are there any other curses you'd like to learn? Oh, snap, my bad. <laughs> That's all I wanted to learn for now. I'll repeat it myself. Thank you. Sorry, of guys. course. You're the only one with whom I would entrust such knowledge. Let's speak again soon. Oh yes, a new curse, all right. A new spell, I mean. <laughs> I say curse, oh my gosh. <laughs> Shoot, I'm cursed. All right. There you have it, guys, a new move. Right, let me try these out, bro, because... Uh... Ooh. Can I try? I can't use it. Damn, I can't use it, bro. Can I use it on you? Do I have to aim at you? Bombarder. All right, we can't use it yet, guys. So, yep. All right, we're going to continue doing the other part. All right, we're going to speak to Natty. I have been meaning not, to speak not with say you. Nothing. All right. 
I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, yes, but wipers. you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Has Officer yeah, Sarah done mother. anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, Hello. whether it is us or Officer Singer. <laughs> if someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly <laughs> happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, <laughs> and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was uh, also an animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home <laughs> when we surprised a group of bandits. Your father is a giraffe. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. Sure, that explains why you talk about creatures. <laughs> he didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. Wow, when she wasn't kidding. <laughs> They turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them. And then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but... This is going to talk about her life so much, much bro. <laughs> A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Bro, I'm not your therapist, okay? I didn't came here to talk about how well, how can I help you with your mental state of mind, bro. <laughs> how is your mother doing? <laughs> Yo, what your mom doing, bro? Where your mom at? Stop. Like, and the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death. No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He and well, vengeance my mother is, uh, I'd be vengeance to everybody. It is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders. Rookwood is already gone. Hollow will be next. We are making progress and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Oh, really? Oh, come over here. Come on. Let's go over here real quick. Let me talk to you. Come. You say I, I deserve all the praise and then come over here. Come to my room now. <laughs> I'm such a savage. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm supposed to take this game serious. <laughs> um. Anyway, we we what? Wait, hold on. I'm Rebellion. Alright, we got that. We we got like yeah. There's three more of these we're collecting. Alright, we're gonna go to the next quest. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. That was Natty's quest. Yeah, guys, um, we're going to continue with Sebastian. He has more quests. The reason I haven't done Poppy's quest yet because you have to be level 27. I'm not in level 27 yet. Sebastian, so, yep. a lost relic from a oh, catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. Yeah, what you got there, I know huh? I how it sounds. But if you got there, lean, you, girl. The risk. Does Ominous know about this? Just drinking over here. He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. Wait till I talk to him. 
I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Yeah, I finally talked to you, Sebastian. Bro. Yeah, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. We'll we just need to get Anne to the catacomb and work out how to make a dark sacrifice. Our biggest hurdle may be dark convincing sacrifice. Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. Alright, quest completed. Another quest of him. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? Yep. I have come upon a difficult time and I need a friend. Not really, you need a friend. Mm-hmm. Sure, girl. I'll be right there. <laughs> I have no idea what you want. Some days are more difficult. Lassie, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's okay. my fault that he isn't. <laughs> my fate. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You exactly. have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. Oh, the really bad are. days, however, I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Well, if you of go to my you room, have put an end to Rookwood <laughs> and Ranrock. You've done a great deal of good that is a benefit to you all. You will never have a bad With day. With Hollow on the prowl, <laughs> there can be no real peace. Each day he remains free, he does more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get him. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get him. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Yeah, that's it? No hat? Oh yeah, or word? No, let's stop. <laughs> you ever seen that meme with the guy with the <laughs> he breaks the skateboard and breaks the phone? <laughs> Damn, alright, that was it. That was that was whack. I just talked to her, nothing exciting. What the heck, bro? Alright, let's continue. Alright guys. It's gonna be my last one for part two of the side quest. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that, that damn people bee, avoid. <laughs> seemed the perfect place to hide <laughs> something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, go, but might guy. a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think Girl, we're about to get stung by point. these bees. Bruh. Why there's a lot of bees all over me? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to come out here with, with a whole bunch of lumps. <laughs> Let the people avoid the okay, cave. Let's poke around this mystery cave. Uh, yeah, let's go. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. Look at all these bees from staring around me. Oh, uh, a, okay. Can I? Mm, suck these damn bees, bro. Alright, come on, girl. Spotlight. Moonlight. 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 Alright. Alright. We finally made it to this location. It took me a minute. 
You know, I had to do some tasks on the side. Can I climb up there? Bro, alright, I gotta go around. It's pretty cool that you could swim. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. This is very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is, which means we're one step ahead of them. No, we got it. We found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Yeah, we're in paradise. This is nice. All right. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We yeah, shall. Fine. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. Okay. That's the Henge, That's precisely <laughs> where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Okay. Oh, it's, over, oh, it's close by. Okay. Uh... How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. Oh my yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna edit that out, guys. Right. Read it. I think we can safely say we know where the moonstone goes. By the way, I had to level up, guys. <laughs> I had to do this mission, but and the other ones I got to level up too. Ooh. Look at her face. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, little buddy. No, look at how cute. Come over here. Come on. <laughs> okay. What are they doing? Um. Whoa. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. That was a, little a moon date? calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They yeah. only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose yeah, the have more fun with her. allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one but two moon calf dances. She'll mm -hmm. be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually I... Got... I'd, love to hear about I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. Yeah. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see... The night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. 
Yeah. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's okay. nice to have someone to talk about it with. Hey, you could trust me, baby girl. What is like growing up with poacher? Do your parents know where you sabotage poacher? Do you worry about being recognized by the poachers? You know what? Thank you for trusting me. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Well, I gotta collect them real quick. Where's the other one? pointing. Oh. Are you finished with the drawing? Wow, Just there's only one. Barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's moonlight. it. Moonlight. Hey, sure moonlight. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. <laughs> what was the first that noise for, right? What the heck? Well, there you have it, guys. We're completing another quest. Uh, by the way, this is quest number two. Uh, there's more storylines, side quest storylines that you haven't seen. Just, you know like the other part so anyways guys i'm gonna end it here please have your notification on so you won't miss another one if you love harry potter games aka hogwarts legacy i uh, appreciate all you guys subscribing and thank you so much uh give it a thumbs up if you made it this far i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video peace mm -hmm.